Hello, I am really excited to be sharing with you my completed sketchbook. Not only is this the largest sketchbook, the thickest that I've ever completed, all of my previous sketchbooks were kind of small, as you can see, in both size and in how many pages there are. So this one is meaningful to me because I kind of started it without a clear goal or purpose for it. I started drawing in it whenever I kind of feel like it. If there's a purpose for this sketchbook, I would say it is because I kind of want to be experimenting in it. I want to be free and I want to build up my confidence. You can clearly see the transition from the beginning to the end as well. In the beginning, I was much more calculative. Uh, lots of planning went into it. Each page took a long time, but later on, I kind of just played with it and I had a lot of fun completing the sketchbook. The sketchbook is from Wuhuhu and the binding is really good. It's very sturdy. Each page is really, really thick and I really like drawing and painting in this sketchbook. Around the same time I got a sketchbook, I also got a Himi gouache and this is me trying out some of the Himi gouache paints. I think I took one out because I was drawing something for kids. So as you can see in the beginning, it was like very calculative. Each page here was um, one portrait and each one probably took me at least an hour, I would say. Back then, I was. it took me very long to complete each one. This is color self-portrait. This was a gouache painting. Another gouache painting, but this time I kind of just used more of a, like a watercolor glaze way of painting the same self-portrait using the same reference photo as before. She's a character from a movie that I watched. A portrait of my son, a portrait of my daughter. This is again using gouache and some flower studies. Uh, this side is using gouache again. I'm not a big fan of these. <laughs> I think the only one I kind of like is maybe this one. I don't know what happened here. I think I was going to do a master study of a of a drawing or a painting and I kind of just abandoned it. Some pen sketches of my husband and I would say around this time, I was not very confident with pen sketches at all. And I started with pencil first and then I laid down the, the pen and I erased the pencil. So something like this would have taken me easily a whole night to complete. This is more play. Um, these are sketches, pen sketches of my, of my hand. And these were just random drawings that I think I was just playing at night. So these were real lifetime st studies of my son. I think he was just playing and I'm just, I just grabbed a pencil crayon and I sketched as he was playing and showing me the things that he's doing. This is another gouache study. Here are some pencil sketches. This is actually a pencil sketch of my mom. So this is around the time where I really got into um, acrylic markers. These are done with Posca markers. And again, around this time, I was not very confident with drawing using markers. So all of these were done with a pencil first, and then I went back in with the marker. Some more sketches. This is a sketch of my, of my daughter. Same thing, pencil first, and then I put in the, the marker and then erasing the pencil. So here are some rough sketches that I did uh, for a client of mine 
for her book. This is around the time where I started going in with just a marker. I'm pretty sure this page was done without a plan. It would, there was no, there was no pencil ahead of time, and I kind of just played with whatever marker I can found, what I can find. And these were five to ten minutes per sketch, and it was、uh, from this website that had a timer. And every five ten minutes, it would rotate and show you a new reference photo. And I would go in with pencil first, and then with with the watercolor. So continue that. And I think for these few, I did not use a pencil first. I just went in with watercolor directly. So again, like going with that theme of building confidence. I say this one is probably my favorite. And around this time, I saw some artists that I really like using pencil crayon, color pencils. In Canada, we call it pencil crayon. And、um, yeah, I started drawing portraits using color pencils around this time, and I quite like it. Here's another page of just randoms. Experiment with color pencils. Another experiment with color pencils. These probably took at least an hour, I would say, to complete. And these were just freehand pen sketches. I think around this time, I, I really started building my confidence with using、um, any medium to just start sketching on paper. Some more self-portraits. And this is when I started using a、um, fountain pen. I really got into using fountain pen, and I started experimenting with sketching using fountain pen again without pencil, and just going in with a with a pen to sketch. This was using Himi Gouache. This is done entirely with marker, and I think the markers that I used are the Faber Castell ink series, brush pen series. Some more color pencil sketches. It's quite dirty. <laughs> I did not clean this. Posca markers. I was fascinated by this animal. Let's take just some sketches of that animal. This is a self-portrait. Some more sketches. These are all using the Fabo Pascal. This little guy is movie. <laughs> If you don't know where they're from, you're probably under a rock. These are fountain pen sketches. Back to brush pen. I really like this one. I thought it was very effortless, and, and I really like how peaceful she looks. Brush pen studies and fountain pen studies. Got really into drawing children around this time, as you can see. And more sketches. And back to pencil. So I don't know what it is about this sketchbook in particular, but all. The pencils I've done in here doesn't matter if it's color pencils、uh, or just regular mechanical lead pencils.、Um, it just it stains so easily. More fountain pen, and then I pretty much got bored of fountain pen after this phase because they're very high maintenance, right? You gotta clean them and they dry out. So 
I went through a phase where I really enjoyed drawing with them and I kind of just abandoned it. It's no longer something that I that I use. My favorite is this one, this little sketch that I've done. That one is probably the favorite fountain pen sketch I've done in this entire sketchbook. And then I took this sketchbook to go on a family trip. And here are some sketches that I've done during that trip. This is a watercolor study of the beach that I was at. This is the last sketch I have of my dog because shortly after that trip, she passed away. I was really inspired by some of the artists that I follow and I started using mixed medium. Well, mainly color pencils and some highlighters to, to draw portraits. Here are more just raw pencil sketches. These were done by brush pen markers. I no longer kind of plan out what I want to draw, who I want to draw. I kind of just like start drawing. There's no pencil, there's no planning. I really build up my confidence that way. Here are a lot more of those kind of brush pen drawings. I really like this one. And some more. And a blank page, I don't know why. Okay, so this is Ardex acrylic markers. Around this time, they sent me their markers to try out. I really enjoyed it. There are more drawings drawn with their markers. When I'm drawing with their markers, it really feels like painting almost because there's so many color choices and variations. These are mechanical pencil with the color lead. I really like this one. Here's a page of just random things. These were two self-portraits with a brush pen and the rest are just randoms. <laughs> just play. They are plays. Now more animal doodles. That's my friend's dog. I just opened up <laughs> Instagram and there, there he is. I did some sketches of that. And more brush pen. You see this one? Just such an ugly drawing, but that's okay. One among many. I think the important thing about keeping a sketchbook and, and leveling up your confidence level with drawing is just that you have to embrace mistakes. You have to not care about the mistakes. If you made a mistake, so what? Who cares? Keep drawing, like draw another one. Uh, I know, you know, when I look at my kids, when they draw something and if they don't like something, well, they will, they'll get angry, they'll rip it out. But, you know, it's, it's really not that bad. It's a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. Move on from your mistakes. Embra embrace the mistakes. The mistakes help you grow better. You know, you learn from the mistakes. My ugly drawings, it's just part of the process. The next time you draw that sketch, it's gonna be better. In the beginning, when I was drawing this one, it was hella ugly. 
But then as I worked on it more and more, I think she turned out all right. This is a spread of acrylic markers. My favorite is this one. I think she turned out really nicely. More doodles. I actually quite like this one. More pen sketches. Brush pen sketches. This is a page of famous people. Some of them actually look like them, but some of them do not. <laughs> See if you can recognize anybody. Acrylic marker portraits and pen portraits. More pen portraits. I think some of these I actually... I do some of this on the go. I might have done some of these uh, while I was traveling. Yeah, I think I did. Some of this I was, I was traveling and I brought the sketchbook with me. It was on the go. The reason I remember that is because that's actually my husband, so <laughs> definitely on the go. This is from a TV show. These were done not with a fountain pen. I know it could look like a fountain pen. It's actually this marker or this pen I got from Japan and they're erasable. So it's super cool. So these were done using an erasable pen and afterwards I put in some brush pen for the shadow. These were done using the erasable pen that I have. But I rarely actually use the erasable bit. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, unless it's really wrong, but you can still see, you know, the rough... The roughens. I didn't really bother going in to erase them. But I like being able to. I like <laughs> the fact that I could do that. So this is the last page. And I ripped some pages out because I was doing a gift for someone and these paper are really thick so they're great actually just to take out and use on its own. Overall, I really enjoyed this sketchbook and I'm really happy that I actually got to complete it. Look how thick this is. It makes me feel that if I can finish this, I can finish anything. I have all the other in-progress sketchbooks that I can't wait to finish. Thank you for watching.